When did Morgan say they'd be ready, B2? Right about now, B1. It's muffin time! Morgan's making muffins for everyone. Because everyone loves them. The muffins! We know about the muffins, Morgan. That's why we're here. The muffins are missing. Missing? I put the muffins out on the table to cool. Then I went to my room and when I came back, the muffins were gone! Gone?! I know one thing about muffins, they don't have legs. Do you think someone took them? Someone in Cuddlestown? Look! Ooh! Someone left their footprints. Whose could they be? They might lead to the missing muffins. Follow the footprints! Let's go, B2. Going, B1. <laughs> Follow me. Follow him. <laughs> this way. Right, right behind you, Morgan. These tracks head for the farm. The farm? With our farm friends. There! Pedro! And look at his feet! Oh, oh no! no. Huh? Oh, what? Do you know anything, Pedro? Uh, no, what? What are you talking about? The muffins! Muffins? What muffins? So what happened exactly, Pedro? You said to come over to have a muffin, Morgan. So I came over. Then you did come into the kitchen. That's how you left the footprints. But I didn't see any muffins. You mean they were already missing? That's right. You have to believe me. We believe you, Pedro. Because you're our friend. Aren't you forgetting something, Bananas? What? The pie. Remember the time you baked a pie and Pedro snitched it? That's right. He ate the lot. Hmm. OK. I admit, I did once take your pie, but I didn't take any muffins. I promise. OK, Pedro, we believe you. If you didn't see the muffins... You didn't see them, but we still have no muffins. How did they go missing? Do you think the teddies really believe me? Of course they believe you, Pedro. Just like we believe you. Oh, if only someone could find those missing muffins. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Detective Bananas time! We have to solve this mystery, B2. And to solve a mystery... You need clues. Clues. What sort of clues? Hmm... Crumbs! Signs, look for clues, stay alert for any news. Be on guard, ears to the ground, listen hard for any sound. Banana detectives, banana detectives, we're on the trail, hot on the track. Banana detectives, banana detectives Whatever the mystery, it'll soon be history Banana detectives, banana detectives No case too hard to 
to crack. Soft of tread, shh. Soft of voice. Creep along and make no noise. Sneak about. Stay in disguise. And never ever get caught by surprise. Banana detectives, banana detectives were on the trail, hot on the track. Banana detectives, banana detectives, whatever the mystery, it'll soon be history. Banana detectives, banana detectives, no case too hard to crack. No case too hard to crack. No crumbs anywhere, B2. Hmm, what should we do, B1? We should ask everyone a question. Right, uh, what question? Where were they when the muffins went missing? Where was I? When the muffin disappeared. Do you have any clues? Well, uh, I was in Rat's shop when the muffins went missing. I don't have any clues. What are you doing? Looking for crumbs. Hmm. No crumbs, B1. Then we'd better check out Lulu. When the muffins went missing, I was outside in the garden. You didn't see anything, Lulu? You don't have any clues? I'm sorry, but I didn't see anything. And I don't have any clues. Hmm. No crumbs. Me? Sorry, Morgan. We have to check everybody. They were my muffins, Bananas. If I knew why they were missing, they wouldn't be missing. That's a good point, Morgan. So you don't have any clues? Any clues at all? I don't have a single clue. Crumbs. Crumbs. Crumbs! Crumbs? Oh, they're crumbs from the toasted cheese sandwich I had for lunch. Mmm, toasty. Cheesy. Definitely not muffin crumbs. We're sorry, Pedro. We can't find any clues. With no clues, we can't solve the mystery. Oh, you did what you could, Bananas. Thanks for trying. And thanks for believing me. <laughs> Hi, Detective Bananas. How's the detective work going? Not very well, Lulu. We haven't found any clues. We don't know how the muffins went missing. Well, did you ask Morgan to act out what he did when he made the muffins? Did we do that, B2? Uh, no, I don't think we did, B1. Maybe you can find out something new that way. Great idea, Lulu. We'll ask Morgan to do that right now. Wait for us! Show us what happened, Morgan. Right from the start. Which is the best place to start? I mix the muffins up, put them on a tray, and put the tray in the oven. What did you do then? Don't leave anything out. Hmm, the muffins baked, and when they were ready, I took them out and put them on the table. And then? I, I, I made some icing for the muffins. I went to the cupboard to get some sugar. See, this sugar right here. I forgot to put it back. Huh? Ah, oh, the muffins! <gasps> the missing muffin mystery is solved! Because the muffins aren't really missing! But I... what did I do? I think we know. You took the sugar out of the cupboard. When you did that, you put the muffins into the cupboard. Then you went to your room and forgot what you did. That's when Pedro came into the kitchen. He looked all over. 
but there were no muffins. Then he left, just like he said. Just like we believed him. I feel terrible. I didn't really believe Pedro when he said he didn't know anything. You can make it up to Pedro. And you can do it right now. I will. Will you forgive me for not believing you, Pedro? No problem, Morgan. Thanks, Pedro. And thanks to the bananas for solving the mystery. It was nothing, Pedro. Nothing that good detective bananas wouldn't do. Give Pedro his surprise, Morgan. I am. I am. We've got you a present, Pedro. Fresh muffins. And they're all yours. Muffins? Oh, my favourite. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, Teddies. Another mystery solved, B2. By the Detective Bananas, B1. Oh, <laughs> Bananas! <laughs> oh, what to do today? This rat leaves some excitement in his life. Good morning, rat. Isn't it a lovely day? If you say so. Have you heard the news? Dolly's painting a shed blue. That should look fun. Have you heard the news that Charlie's got a new TV? How wonderful. Oh, there's so much happening in Cuddlestown. We should have our own news show. What a great idea, Camembert. And we could watch it on Charlie's TV. A new show? On TV? Now that is exciting. And who better to do it than me? Oh, then I could be a TV star. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, Cobblestown, and welcome to Rat News. Morning, Rat. What are you doing? I'm starting the Cuddlestown News Show. Ooh! There's only one problem. What's that, Rat? I don't know what's happening. I need some reporters to find the news for me. Don't worry, Rat. We'll find the news stories for you. Ready, Reporter B1? Ready, Reporter B2? Time to find the news. All the news that is the news. Look, Reporter B1. Pedro's playing in the mud. Does that look like news to you? It looks like big news, Reporter B2. It's news time! Look, Reporter B2. Morgan's making a salad. It's news time! Look over there, Reporter B1. The tide's coming in and washing that sandcastle away. It's news time! Just wait till Rat sees all the great news stories we've found. <laughs> Wake up, Rat. <laughs> we've got the news. What? <laughs> what news? All, all the, the news that, that is, is the news. news. Excellent. Well, don't just stand there. Go and get the video camera. It's news time! <laughs> hey everybody, the news is about to start. Hello, Cuddlestown! Yay! Yay! And in Cuddlestown news today, Pedro is still in his pen, playing in the mud. <laughs> That's not news, he does it every day. And over at the Teddy's house, Morgan was making a delicious salad. But Morgan always does that. And in a Rat News exclusive, the tide came in today and washed away a sandcastle. Sensational news stories, I'm sure you'll all agree. And there'll be plenty more where those came from. This is Rat signing off from Rat News. That wasn't much. Not much at all. Well, what did you think? It just told us things we already know. Oh. That's not exciting at all. Not exciting? Telling them things they already know? <laughs> all right then. 
Maybe it's time to start telling them things they don't know. There. All done. <laughs> oh, that will give them excitement, all right. <laughs> Why are we here at the park, Rat? Oh, looking for news. What else? I don't think there's much news around here, Rat. Oh. Oh, goodness me. What are we here? This is strange. This is amazing. What is it, Rat? I'd say it's news. That's what it is. These strange and mysterious squiggly circles are appearing all over Cuddlestown. Where did they come from? What could they be? Tune in next time to Rat News, where you hear all the real news first. Wow! That really is news! Strange squiggly circles? Oh, hello, everybody. Uh, just passing by. I don't suppose anyone saw Rat News. Are you kidding? It was excellent. Oh, how kind of you to say so. But where did those squiggly circles come from? Maybe it's space monsters. Oh, Morgan, everyone knows there's no such thing as space monsters. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure, Lulu. I'll make them think there's a space monster right here in Cuddlestown. <laughs> what exactly are we looking for, Rat? Some clues! Clues to tell us what's making the squiggly circles. <laughs> this is all too easy. It won't be long now. Five, four, three, two... Look, B1! They look like space monster footprints, B2. But I thought there was no such thing as space monsters. I think I've changed my mind. Hurry, let's tell everyone. <laughs> oh, wait, bananas! <laughs> I've got a better idea. Let's put it on Rat News instead. Great show, Rat. The best Rat News ever. What can I say? We just report the news. We don't make it. Unless we have to. I knew it, see, Lulu? You can't have space monster footprints without real space monsters. But I still don't believe in space monsters. Footprints or no footprints. I'll only believe it when I see the space monster itself. Uh, sorry, <laughs> it's my nap time. Oh, uh, got to go. Bye, teddies. <laughs> what am I going to do? Oh, they won't be happy till they see a space monster on Rat News. But that's impossible because there is no space monster. Wait a minute. If it's a space monster they want, then it's a space monster they'll get. Here's what I want you to do. Get the camera ready and watch out for anything unusual. Right. And I'll try to find the monster's hiding place. Be careful, Rat. Don't worry about me, Bananas. Just be ready to start filming. <laughs> what a brilliant plan I've hatched. I wonder where the monster is. <laughs> Did you hear that, B1? Yes, I did. But I wish I hadn't been to. No! <laughs> this is fun. Should we turn the camera on, B1? I think we'd better. That space monster doesn't sound very friendly, B1. Not very friendly at all, B2. No! No! Run away in high time! <laughs> I'm a huge space monster and I'm coming to scare all of Cuddles Town! Oh, Rat, are we glad to see you? <laughs> I chased him away. That's the last we'll see of him. You're so brave, Rat. I know. Now, go and get the camera. This will be the greatest rat news ever! See? Now do you believe in space monsters? It's runaway in high time! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Well, you shouldn't make up stories like that, Rat. I know. I think my job as a TV star is over. And now you need to say sorry to everyone. A big sorry, especially to the Bananas. If I must. I'm sorry, Bananas. And to everyone here. But how do we know you're not just making that up, too? Just like you made up the space monster. You mean... You don't trust me? No! Oh, all right then. To prove I'm sorry, I invite everyone back to my shop for free honey cakes and tea. Free honey cakes? From Rat? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. That's a real Cuddles Down news story. <laughs> <laughs> B1, what are all those boxes doing outside Rat's shop? Let's go and find out, B2. Hello, Hello Rat. Rat. Oh, cheeks and whiskers. Is something wrong, Rat? I ordered two boxes of porridge for the shop, but they've delivered 20. What will I do with them all? Can we do anything to help, Rat? I suppose you could help me carry them into the shop. We'll have them inside in no time. Here it is, Rat. The last box. Thank you, Bananas. Now, how am I going to sell 20 boxes of porridge? Would you like to buy a box? This porridge is the most delicious breakfast food there is. It does smell nice, B1. Sort of. <coughs> See? Isn't it yummy? Uh, how old is this porridge, Rat? Old? Oh, only a couple of years. Uh, I mean weeks. Uh, days! It's very thick and sticky. Thick and sticky? It's like glue. Does that mean you won't buy any? Sorry, Sorry Rat. Rat. But there was something we wanted to buy, wasn't there, B1? Oh, yes. What was it, B2? I can't remember, B1. We'll have to come back later when we think of it. Bye, Bye Rat. Rat! Bye, Bananas. Oh, How am I ever going to sell all this porridge? Hello, Rat. Oh, hello, Charlie. I need to buy some glue for a new invention I'm building. Glue? Yes, a thick and sticky glue. Thick, sticky, glue. I think I might have just the thing, Charlie. But there you go, thick and sticky. Hello, Rat. I need some plaster to fix the cracks in my ceiling. Plaster? Oh, sorry, Bernard. I don't have any pla... Uh, wait a minute. I might have some after all. That will fix your ceiling in no time. Thank you so much. Hello, Rat. I'm making a vase, so I need some clay. A clay? Well, Amy, I have just what you need right here. <laughs> I 
I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a clever, clever rat. Maybe we were going to buy a trumpet, B1. No, I don't think it was that, B2. Oh! What happened? It was that big hole in the path. Now I remember what we were going to buy, B1. Cement! Cement! To fill the hole. Let's go back to Rat's shop, B1. Cement? Oh, sorry, Bananas. I don't sell some... Uh, on second thoughts, I might have a box here somewhere. That's wonderful, Rat. Yes, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Cement. It should do the job perfectly. Uh, haven't we seen this box before somewhere, P1? It does look familiar, P2. And uh, it's very easy to use, Bananas. You just add water. OK, Rat. We'll buy two boxes then. Uh, that'll be four honey cakes, please. Excellent. The last piece. That's a job well done, if ever I saw one. Ooh, that rat in the hat! Finished! Now, let's see how it looks with flowers. What happened? That rat in a hat! Here comes the cement, B2. Oh, sorry, B2. Don't worry, B1. I'll just scoop some off. Oh. Oh. This cement is very thick and sticky, B1. It's like glue, B2. And it smells like old porridge, V1. Oh, you're right, B2. Oh, that, that rat, rat in a hat. hat! Look at this. We've all got the same boxes. So we do. Don't tell me you bought some of Rat's terrible glue, too. Glue? He told me it was clay. He told me it was plaster. And he told us it was cement. But if it isn't clay... And it isn't plaster... And it isn't glue or cement... Then, then what, what is, is it? it? It's old porridge. Old, old porridge? <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh that, that rat, rat in a hat. hat! We should go in there and tell him how naughty he's been. Wait a minute, everyone. I've got a better idea. What is it, Charlie? The weather forecast says it's going to rain this afternoon. So? So I think we have the perfect chance to teach that naughty rat a lesson. Hello, rat. Oh, hello, bananas. What can I do for you? We'd like five boxes of cement, please, rat. <laughs> Why do you need so much cement bananas? We're going to build a statue of someone very important. Someone very important? Who? You! Me! Oh, bananas! I always thought I was loved by everyone in Cuddlestown. Now I know it! <laughs> <laughs> so can we buy the cement now, please, Rat? The cement? Oh, yes, of course. Oh, uh, bananas, are you sure that por... Uh, I mean, cement is the best thing to build this statue with? Oh, yes, Rat. It's perfect, isn't it, B1? Absolutely, B2. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as you're sure... 
Dear Bananas, go forth and build a statue to honour Cuddles Town's finest citizen. As I'm sure you all know, Rat is a very important person in Cuddles Town. After all, without Rat, what would we do if we needed clay? Or plaster. Or glue. Or, or cement. So, we've made something special for you, Rat. It's your very own... Statue! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're far too kind. It's a beautiful statue. Well, naturally, because it looks exactly like me. I'm sure that each day as you walk through the park, it will remind you all of how wonderful I have been. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something funny? Look behind you, Rat. Oh, no! My beautiful statue! The rain's making it melt. Oh, but uh, how could that happen? Cement doesn't melt, does it? Cement? No, of course it doesn't. Then what's caused it? Well, uh, unless it uh, isn't cement at all. <laughs> Just like the clay wasn't clay. And the glue wasn't glue. And the plaster wasn't plaster. It was all just old porridge. Old porridge? Oh, dear. I have been a naughty rat, haven't I? Yes! But if you all knew it was old porridge, why did you build this? We wanted to trick you back. What? You tricked me! But we only did our trick to show up your trick. And it was funny, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose it was. Oh! Wait! If you all come to my shop, I'll give you free afternoon tea. Free afternoon tea, B1? Oh, sounds good to me, B2. Yay! I hope Rat's serving munchy honey cakes, B1. And yellow jelly, B2. Here you go, everyone. Afternoon tea. Wait a minute, B1. Is that what we think it is, B2? Rat, this is old porridge. It's slightly old porridge, and it's perfect for a cold day. So eat up, everyone. Oh, Rat in a hat. <laughs> it's morning tea time, B1. And what's for morning tea, B2? What else? Yellow jelly! And munchy honey cakes! Yum! Did you hear that, B1? I hear it, B2. That sounds like... Postman Rat! Good morning, Postman Rat. Good morning, Bananas. Do you have any letters for us today? Any letters? Hmm, let me see. Ah, a postcard for the tippies. A parcel for Pedro. No, that's my lunch. An umbrella for the rain. My trusty postman's ladder for delivering letters to anyone living upstairs. Ah, here we are. One letter for the bananas. Thanks, Postman Rat. I wonder what it is. It's an invitation from Bernard to his special event this afternoon. Uh, not that I know, of course. I certainly haven't opened it and uh, read it. Postman Rat would never do that. Uh, bye! <gasps> Look, B1. What is it, B2? It is from Bernard. What a lucky guess by Postman Rat, B2. A very lucky guess. And it looks like his special event is going to be very special. Wow! Do you think the special event might be Bernard's birthday, B1? It has to be, B2. Then we need to get him a present. But what kind of present? What sort of thing would he like? We need to find out more about Bernard, B2. But how, B1? We need to do some spying, B2. Hmm. Where we sneak around and watch others. But they don't know that we're watching them. 
Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's Super Spy Banana time! A mission? What kind of mission? A top secret mission. Top secret? Shh! Not so loud. Sorry. If it's top secret, it must be very important. All clear, B1? All clear, B2. Shh! Here, Bananas. What is it, Charlie? Everything a super spy needs. A super spy telescope to see things a long way away. A pen full of invisible ink so you can write down everything you see. And best of all, your super spy disguises. A disguise? Is that like dressing up, B2? Shh! It's dressing up so no one knows who you are, B1. Your super spy hats, your super spy sunglasses, and most important of all, your super spy moustaches. Thanks, Charlie. Now we've got everything we need, B1. Shh! Everything we need to be real super spies, B2. All clear, super spy B1? All clear, super spy B2. Now we're ready to find out what Bernard really likes. So we can choose the perfect birthday present. Look out! Here he comes now. Quick, hide. I'm so looking forward to this. I want my special event to be extra special. I think I smell honey, Super Spy B1. I think I hear bees, Super Spy B2. Bees! Run, Super Spy B1. I am running, Super Spy B2. That was close, Super Spy B2. Oh, much too close, Super Spy P1. Come on, we'd better find Bernard. I think he went that way. Thank you, Master Rat. I am greatly indebted to you. Not a problem, Bernard. And remember, I need everything delivered to Barkington House in time for my special event. But of course, Bernard. As I always say, if you can't trust a rat, who can you trust? I give up. Uh, who can you trust? No, it's just a saying. A saying I always say. If you can't trust a rat... <laughs> oh, right, right. Uh, who can you trust? <laughs> oh, very witty. Uh, well, uh, keep up the good work. Cheerio, rat. Bye, Bernard. Oh! Oh, uh, good afternoon, strangers. Welcome to my shop. They're funny. You look just like my friends the Bananas, uh, but with hats and sunglasses and great big moustaches. Bananas in moustaches? What a silly idea. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Now, is there something I can help you with? Yes. What was Bernard buying from your shop? Bernard? Or just 20 dog food bowls? 20 dog food bowls? Why would he need those? For his special event. Hmm. Thanks, Mr. Rat. You've been very helpful. I'm sure I know them from somewhere. Very good, Morgan. That sounds excellent. Anything else you need, Bernard? Uh, no, Morgan. Uh, that's all. Just uh, 20 flying discs, 20 skipping ropes and 20 bouncing balls. Your special event's going to be super special. That's the idea, Morgan. See you there. Bye, Bernard. Did you hear that? 20 flying discs. 20 skipping ropes. And 20 bouncing balls. That's a lot of toys to play with. So if Morgan's giving Bernard toys... And Rat's giving Bernard balls... What can we give him? We need to find out more about him. Careful, Super Spy B1. Don't let Bernard see us. Right you are, Super Spy B2. Hmm. That's funny. I thought I heard someone. Huh? Oh, I must be working too hard on my special event. 
us by B1, there's Bernard with Camembert. Let's see what they're saying, Super Spy B2. Excellent, Camembert. And remember, I need enough milk to fill 20 bottles. 20 bottles of milk? He must be really thirsty. Look out, here he comes. Quick, hide. Huh? Help, B1. I've got you, B2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Bananas. What are you doing here? We're not doing anything. No, nothing at all. Just taking our moustaches for a walk. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Uh, oh, well, uh, have a nice time. And, and remember, don't be late for my special event at Barkington House. Now, let's see. What has our super spying taught us about Bernard, B1? We know he likes food, B2. And he loves to play games, B1. And he's very, very thirsty, B2. So, what are we going to get? We need the perfect present. Perfect present? What do you need that for, Bananas? for Bernard's special event. We just can't think of what to get. Oh, what about a bone? A bone? All dogs love bones. That's it, B1. A bone, B2. That would be the most perfect present ever. Oh, congratulations, Bernard. This is an excellent party. Oh, why, thank you, Rat. Hello, Bernard. Oh, welcome, Bananas. Oh, goodness me, what's that you've got? It's for you, Bernard. For me? It's your present. Present? Happy, Happy birthday, Bernard. Oh, Bananas, you make me wag. Why is that, Bernard? Uh, it's not my birthday. It's not? But it's your special event. It's a special event to collect things for all the puppies in the lost puppy home. Oh, really? Didn't you see Bernard's invitation, Bananas? Yes, but... We didn't see anything about lost puppies. It was on the other side of the card, Bananas. You see? Uh, uh, if only we'd known, we could have brought something for the lost puppies too. And all we have is this bone. Which is really 20 small bones wrapped up like one big bone. Because we thought you liked 20 of everything. No, no, no. There are 20 lost puppies, so they need 20 bowls and 20 toys. Uh, 20 of everything, in fact. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Puppies like bones, just like big dogs. So our 20 bones will be perfect for the 20 lost puppies. Yay! Yay! Will I never, never, ever? Well done, Bananas. The puppies will love them. Wow, B1, we brought Bernard the perfect present after all. And we didn't even know it. Fantastic feeling about today. I have the same feeling too. It's going to be a wonderful day. A very wonderful day. <laughs> it's a windy day, B2. But a wonderful windy day, B1. Who shall we go and see, B2? Why not our friend Bernard? Bernard? Why Bernard? Because we can see him right now. Uh, bananas, <laughs> can you grab my hat, please? We'll get it, Bernard. Leave it to us. Oh! 
This is a tricky hat, B2. Very tricky, B1. I'll come from that way, and I'll come from that way. Now! Got it! <sighs> Good work, Bananas. Well done. Our pleasure, Bernard. Always happy to help a friend. Oops. Uh, no matter, Bananas. I'll uh, get it back into shape. <laughs> More or less. We're sorry, Bernard. We hate to upset you on such a wonderful day. Wonderful? Today? I think not. Oh? oh? Why isn't it wonderful, Bernard? I've been doing my best to bird watch, but all the birds have flown away because of this confounded wind. But I'm a Barkington, and Barkingtons never give up. Cheerio, bananas! Good luck, Bernard! We hope you find some birds to watch. Bernard isn't having a wonderful day at all. Maybe it'll turn wonderful later. Help! Someone needs help! help! Rat needs help. We're, We're coming, coming, rat! Oh! Oh! Huh? What's going on, rat? The door! Close the door, bananas! The, the door! door! Are you hurt? I've bent a whisker. Oh, what a day. A terrible day. A terrible day? An awful day. An awful day? First, I get sent these umbrellas by mistake. What am I to do with them? Who wants umbrellas on a windy day? And just look at this mess. And now, I've got a bent whisker. We'll help you clean up, Rat. Oh, you will? Oh, that's good of you, Bananas. Then maybe the day won't be so terrible. It might even get to be... A wonderful day! A wonderful day? Never! Bernard isn't having a wonderful day. Rat isn't having a wonderful day. Is anyone having a wonderful day? Oh, grab it! I'm trying. It's going everywhere. The teddies! Do they need help? Can somebody help? I think they do need help. We're coming! We're here, teddies. We'll help you. Leave! Watch our washing, Bananas! The wind is blowing it all over the place! We've lost them! Grab some others! There! I see it! Sheet is fun, B2. Flying is fun, but what about the landing? Whoa! Whoa! The landing was fun too. And what a great swing! Whee! Bananas, are you okay? We're okay. Not a scratch. This wind! It won't stop. Oh no! Look out! Our washing! This might not be a good time to ask. But are you teddies having a wonderful day? No! no. Fair enough. I didn't think so. 
No one's having a wonderful day, B1. And if none of our friends are having a wonderful day, how can we have a wonderful day? Everyone is having troubles. All because of the wind. If only their troubles could fly away on the wind, B2. Then we might all have a wonderful day. Wind? Fly? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's Let's Make Something Wonderful time! Just look at our clothes. Oh, we have to wash them all over again. How can we? We can't hang them up in all this... wind. Hello, Teddies. We've got a surprise. We know you'll love it. But we need to borrow that sheet. This sheet? That's the one. Thanks, Teddies. What do you need it for, Bananas? That's the surprise. Be at our house in one hour. And you'll find out all about it. <laughs> Whisker, it's all your fault. Oh, yes, it is. I'm putting you away and you'll never come out. Bad umbrellas. Rat. Rat! Bananas? We don't want to come in and let the wind in again. So can you hand us out the umbrellas? All of them? All of them. If you want them, you can have them. Ready? <laughs> Thank you, Rat. Why do you want them, Bananas? Come to our home at two o'clock and you'll find out why. Oh, 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 blast! No sensible bird is out in this weather, so what am I doing out here? Bird! Bananas! What are you doing in this awful wind? We needed to see you. So we can borrow your hat. My hat? Could we have it? You may, but for whatever for? Be at our home at two. And you'll see what for. That's everything we need, B1. Now we have to make it, B2. Then make it, we will. Ah, uh, tennis. Are you here for the banana surprise? We are, Bernard. What could it be? We're about to find out. Bananas! We're all here! Come on in! The surprise is ready. Everyone's had a terrible time today. All because of the wind. So how can we turn a terrible day into a wonderful day? Even though it's very windy. <gasps> <gasps> Right. That's terrific! <laughs> Quite a surprise! But will it fly? Um, we're not very sure. To be honest, we have no idea. <laughs> we can easily find out. Let's try it! Ready, Ready to, to launch, launch kite. kite? Let's get some speed up! On my command, forward! Letting go now! Up, up! Fly, fly! Oh, it flies! Hooray! What do you think, everyone? Is this good or is this good? Marvellous! Great! Brilliant! Very cheesy! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful day, Bananas. You don't have to tell us, Amy. We already knew it. <laughs> so what are we going to do today, B1? I know what we should do first, B2. What's that, B1? Have breakfast. Good thinking, B1. Let's see what's in the fridge, B2. That 
that's funny, B1. Half of that yummy fruit salad we made yesterday is missing. It can't be, B2. We haven't eaten any yet. We haven't, B1, but somebody has. Look! Someone must have eaten our fruit salad in the night, B2. But who? It's a mystery. A mysterious mystery. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's Detective Bananas time! Now let's look for clues. Ow! Sorry, Detective B1. Uh, no problem, Detective B2. I think I found a clue. Look! Hmm, muddy footprints, Detective B2. And they lead right to the fridge, Detective B1. Which means they were made by... The, the Fruit Salad, Salad Snitcher! Let's follow the footprints, Detective B1. Right, Detective B2. Hello, Bananas! So, why are you in your detective gear, Bananas? We've got a mystery to solve, Lulu. Someone ate our fruit salad while we were asleep. But who would do such a thing? The Fruit Salad Snitcher! Uh, bananas, do you mind if I eat the rest of the fruit salad? No, Morgan. The bananas need the rest to catch the snitcher. Do we? Why, Lulu? Because if the snitcher ate half the fruit salad last night, he might come back for more tonight. You're right, Lulu. And if he does... The Detective Bananas will be waiting for him! Detective B1, wake up! It's the fruit salad snitcher! That's no snitcher, Detective B2. That's, That's Morgan. Morgan! He looks a bit strange, Detective B2. Let's go and talk to him. Hello? Morgan! What did he say? It sounded like... What does... Mean. I think it means he's asleep. Asleep? I've heard about this, Detective B1. It's called, um, sleepwalking. It looks like Morgan is also sleep eating. You know what this means, Detective B1? Morgan is the fruit salad snitcher. What should we do, Detective B2? I don't know, Detective B1. We'd better ask the teddies in the morning. You think I ate your fruit salad? You were asleep. Asleep? He was sleepwalking. That's impossible. We, we saw you. Well, that does explain why there were muddy footprints on our floor this morning. <gasps> See? They match the footprints in our house. Exactly, Detective B2. I'm sorry, Bananas. It's not your fault, Morgan. Well, if I do it again, just wake me up. No, Bananas, don't. It says here you should never wake a sleepwalker. Why not, Lulu? Because they can get a bad fright. Then how do we stop him? Yes, how? <gasps> I know, Bananas. Why don't you just lock your front door? Then Morgan won't be able to get in. Great idea, Lulu. That'll definitely solve the problem. <laughs> There's someone at the door, B1. <laughs> I'll get it, B2. Wait, B1, stop! We can't open the door. Why not? Because it must be Morgan, sleepwalking again. He's going away, Detective B1. Then it worked, Detective B2. 
Let's have some fruit salad to celebrate. Who's that climbing in the window? Oh no, it's Morgan. Oh. He really likes our fruit salad, Detective B1. He certainly does, Detective B2. I ate your fruit salad again. You did. But how could he get in if the door was locked, Bananas? He climbed in through the window. Oh dear. Well, if that didn't stop him, what else can we try? I've got an idea, Bananas. Seven, eight, nine. How many more do I have to do, Amy? As many as you can, Morgan. Oh. Amy, I still don't understand how all this exercise will stop Morgan sleepwalking. <laughs> Bananas, if we wear Morgan out, he'll sleep so deeply he won't have any energy to sleepwalk. Oh. That is good thinking, Amy. Very good thinking. Ugh. Wake up, Detective B1. What is it, Detective B2? Morgan's back again. Look. Oh, no. What's he doing, Detective B2? Poor Morgan. All that exercise has made him so tired. He can't even sleepwalk without taking a nap. Where's he going now, Detective B1? I don't think he knows, Detective B2. We'd better stay close, Detective B1. There's no telling what he might run into. Quick, he's going to hit the chair. Oof. Now he's heading for the table. <laughs> He's got the fruit salad out, Detective B1. But does he have the energy to eat it, Detective B2? Oh. We don't know what else to try, Bananas. Neither do we, Teddies. Looks like we'll just have to stop making fruit salad. Our favourite breakfast. Oh. Wait a minute, Bananas. I think I've got an idea. What is it, Morgan? Well, what if I didn't have to sleepwalk to get the fruit salad? What if the fruit salad came to me instead? Uh, how could the fruit salad do that? It doesn't have any legs, does it? No, I mean, what if the fruit salad was where I could get it without having to sleepwalk? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's fruit salad at Teddy's time! There you go, Morgan. A nice fresh bowl of fruit salad, right by your bed. So now if you get hungry in the night, you won't have to walk anywhere. I'm sure this will work. So are we, Morgan. Good night, Bananas. Good, Good night, night, Morgan. Well, Detective B1, that's another case solved. Yes, Detective B2, the Detective Bananas have done it again. Ah, uh, there's just one problem, Detective B1. What's that, Detective B2? Well, now that our fruit salad is at the Teddy's place, what happens if we get hungry in the night? Oh dear, that is a problem. Bananas? What are you doing here? Oh, sorry, Morgan. We just got a bit hungry, that's all. Oh, bananas. Would you mind if I had some too? Of course not, Morgan. Hmm, thanks. What's going on? We thought the fruit salad was supposed to be for Morgan. Uh, we're sorry, Teddies. It looked so delicious. We just couldn't resist coming over to have some too. Oh, bananas. <laughs> <laughs>